Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Zephyr for Jira tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create your first test case in Zephyr. So we have already understood about the installation steps, how to configure Zephyr for Jira projects. And now let us start with the first test case creation within Zephyr. Before we get into the test case creation, I would like to walk you through the quick start guide in the Zephyr docs. So if you go to the Zephyr documentation and go to the quick start, you will see the couple of test processes that are available within um, you know, Zephyr that they support. So you have simple test process, then test process with basic execution planning, or you know, in the right hand side, you have more structured test process. So as of now, what I'll do is I'll start with the very basic approach. So we'll start with the simple test process. And once you are, you know, comfortable with the simple test process, which is basically creating a test case, then executing and then, you know, filing bug and checking the metrics, which is basically the reports. So I'll start with the simple test process and then I'll try to correlate the whole approach with the more structured test process. So if you are working in, you know, big enterprise and you are using Zephyr for Jira there, how you will use Zephyr for Jira properly within your enterprise project so that you can manage the test cases properly within your enterprise. Okay. So uh, let us first understand how you can create the first test case. So in any test process, the test case creation is the first part of it, right? So we need to first understand how you can go ahead and create the test cases. So here I have some sample test cases, dummy test cases that I have created. Say for example, user, user registration using Google account. So um, in this particular case, I want to have a couple of, you know, um, title description for the particular test case. So this is my title, uh, this is description, and this is in my Excel sheet. And these are the steps. So basically there will be uh, steps and the expected results in the test case. Then there will be one more section around the test data. So this is just a dummy sample, simple test case, simple test case just to show you how you can add this test case into Zephyr. So I'll go to the project here and we have already enabled Zephyr issue type in this RT project or classic scrum project. Now to create a test case, it's very simple process. It's exactly similar, similar to creating any other issue type in Jira. So simply click on create from here and select the issue type as test. Okay, so you have to make sure you select the project where you want to create this particular test case and then issue type. In the summary, you provide the summary. In the description, you pro provide the description. So for example, in the summary, I'll provide the title. Okay, so let me put the title there. And in the description, I'll provide this description. All right. And then you have all other options which are, you know, almost similar with other uh, issue types that we have already seen in the Jira cloud tutorial series. So here you have, you know, reporter, if you want to change the reporter, you can change it here, but by default, it will take the reporter whose server is logged in and reporting this particular test case. Assignee, uh, if you want to assign this particular test case after creation to someone else, you can assign it to someone else. Then priority is another important thing here. So if you want to categorize your test cases, as a per, you know in different priorities then you can select the priorities from here as well okay if you want to categorize or add the labels to the test cases now labels will help you to quickly search the issues uh, and if you want to more get more detail about the jira labels and searching then watch my um, jira cloud tutorial series or other jira series that i have posted then, um, you know, story points, sprint, etc. These are not very relevant to, uh, you know, uh, the test cases. I mean, sprint is relevant, but story points, usually we do not measure as such the test cases in terms of story points. Uh, sprint, if you want to assign sprint in, uh, you want to execute those test cases or write uh, the test cases within the sprint, then you assign the sprint in that particular case. Epic, you choose the epic that this particular test case relates to the or the higher level user story as such okay once you have all these details entered click on create if you want to create another test case simply click on this 
checkbox and this window will keep open okay so i'll create this particular test case now you would be wondering that we haven't provided steps anywhere right so once you have created this particular test case open it and here once you open this particular test case you will see these zephyr options are available right so this is zephyr actions then test details and then test execution details okay so in order to add the details or the steps you have to click on test details icon here and you will see test step test data and test result sections are available here right so now we will start adding the steps okay so i'll add the step one as launch rcv app okay in the test data you provide the test data okay so if say for example you need the username and password to log into the particular application you provide that test data accordingly here okay so that it it's uh, it's tracked then i'll provide the expected result and click on add step let me yeah click on this add step so you can see that step has been added let me quickly add other four steps as well all right so all the four steps of this particular test case have been added test data as per your test cases you you will enter the test data as well if required otherwise you will leave that test data field as blank right so the test steps have been added now if you want to you know update other things here say for example you want to add more description you can edit the description just by clicking on this particular text here and it will open the edit window all right uh, if i click on uh, the zephyr actions you will see that it will open the action to execute or to add to the test cycle right so which will cover when we move to the next step of this whole software testing life cycle within zephyr okay then if i go to the uh, test executions you will find any previous test executions that have happened for this particular test case or whether this particular test case was included as part of any uh, previous test execution so that all history will be available here in the test execution section all right so this is basically a brief about the adding of the test case or how to add test case in zephyr for jira okay very simple process this simply you have to create the issue type and uh, change the issue type as test and then add the steps into that particular test case so this is one way if you want to navigate through the zephyr interface what you can do is you can click on zephyr as well okay in the left hand side and from here you can click on create a test so if you click on create a test it will open exactly same window which is create issue you select the project where you want to create your test case select the issue type provide summary and all other details as i have discussed in the previous you know screen and click on create to create that particular test case and then later you edit and add the steps into that particular test case right so these are two ways basically or two places where you can navigate to create the issue so simply click on either create button here or the better option is go to the zephyr interface and click on create test case from here okay so that's all for this tutorial on how to create test case in zephyr for jira hope you like it please do share and subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon thank you for watching